Howdy, y'all. So, uh, uh, thank you for the comments yesterday about the 80s, kid. And this is going to be about two seconds of music and, and a song. And probably the rest of it is going to be about me ranting about the medical industry. But, oh, my goodness, when you bring up names, you brought, what was that? Motley Crue, uh, Van Halen, and there was one other... Uh, but, you know, every time I go see, um, uh, uh, an anesthesiologist, the only, I just, I don't, I have no idea what their names are. I couldn't tell you. I always called them Dr. Feelgood. And I always asked them if they know that song. And it's like, and I found out a couple of things. First, um, this guitar right here has been now tuned to D, not drop D. So this is what somebody was explaining in a video I was watching that, that, that uh, Mick Mars used to tune down to D, not drop D. I have a drop D up there, which is different tuning. So this is just D tuning. It's every, absolutely everything just tuned down one step. So, you know, D, and then you can play everything the other, the, the you know, chords the, the way you normally would. And, By the way, I suck at the wiggle stick. Oh man, that part sucked, so. No offense to McMars, but um, John Five is an amazing guitar player, and I would, I would really like to see what he does with their their stuff. If he plays it straight, or if he, you know, puts a little bit of himself in there, because that would be amazing. Um, anyway, so let's uh, about the uh, '80s kid stuff and the Doctor Feelgood, and and uh, the 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 fight with uh, with. Um, Doctors and stuff yeah, ever since this started. Oh my god. All they wanted to do is give me opioids opioids opi opioids opioids when they started they kept like every single time I would talk to any doctor you know, how's your pain? We can give you something for that. I'm like, no, you really can't. And they're like, but, but, but. And I'm like, no, I, is it opioids? And they're like, yeah. Uh, well, then, no, I don't want it. And I've been refusing, refusing, refusing. To me, it's just like, you know, I have enough problems as it is. Now you want to get me hooked on this stuff? No. So, yeah, I might do weird things like have marijuana a lot. But, you know, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to get into your man-made crap that's going to get me hooked. And then, you know, just whatever. Um, I, I have a problem with needles in the first place. There ain't no way I could get hooked because I can't shoot myself up. Wouldn't be able to do it. So let's just avoid the problem altogether and not take any. So it took me a while, but now they don't even bother asking. Um, and it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm like probably the only one there like, oh, don't bother. Actually, one of the one one provider said that to another one day is like, don't even bother. He's going to refuse. And like, what? It's like he refuses every opioid or anything he thinks is an opioid. He doesn't want any of our drugs. I'm like, yeah, I don't. You, you guys are drug pushers, man. You guys hook people and you don't get them off of it. And it's like, what is wrong with you? This is, you're supposed to be helping people and your, your drugs just, you know, I don't know what they do to people. But um, I don't want to find out. So sorry about my row against the uh, the medical industry and their, their just overwhelming use of opioids as a thing i want to fix myself and to me that's masking things and not dealing with it i want to deal with it i want to deal with it head on i want to go hey let's go is there pain of course there is um is it manageable yes um when it gets not manageable so far i take a couple of tylenol that's about all i can do i can't take aspirin or any other blood thinning stuff because of my uh bleeding issues in the past so um you know, I, the, I'm very limited to what I can do. And, um, you know, I, I, at the moment, I'm sticking to what works for me because I just, I'm so scared of their, uh, of, of what they do to other people, what I've seen them do to other people. And I just don't want that to happen to me.
and that's Van Hagar, and I don't don't know if you meant Van Halen with with, with uh, Dave or you meant Van Hagar, but they were all in the 80s. So everybody's looking for something, something, something. You feel So anyway, I, I did play some of that uh, a little while ago, and uh, I'm going to try and learn how to play that uh, Motley Crue song a lot better. I love those harmonics, and, and, and it's just weird because that's why I had the two guitars out. I gotta get more fluid in that, but uh, um, let me know what you think between the two. This, the standard tuning, which is what I just played, or the detuning. Let me know what you think, which sounds better, because I'm gonna go back and listen to this and try and figure out which sounds better myself. Anyways, I hope you all is having a great day. I'm having a very strange day. It's I, I think my, my chemo stuff is uh, still affecting me a little bit, so um, I did a bunch of real world stuff, and I think that's all I can do. Gotta go. Can't do it no more. And it's, uh, what time is it? No, 1 o'clock, 1.15? Yeah, uh-huh. Great. Anyways, I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you then. Bears. Oh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I keep forgetting. Nah, please, you know, stop. Ah!